Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today I'm making the little heart pendant that I had tried to do on the live stream last week. Now this is a special gift for our friend Catherine, and I'm working out the designs today. So my first attempt at the heart pendant that I did on the live stream didn't work as well as I had hoped. I was using 20 gauge wire. So this time I'm going to use 22 gauge wire, the artistic copper wire, and I have my tools there. So what I'll do is I'll actually remove this and I'll start again. So I cut two pieces of wire that are 12 inches long and I'll just put them beside each other and then place these on the back of the stone and you want to center them so what I want to do first is actually wrap this around to the front you could probably put a little strip of tape on the back if you find that it slips and then you're going to hold it and bring this one around to the front and then the idea is I want to twist these two together so I think what I'll do to start is I'm going to actually remove it from there otherwise we're going to have a lot of, lot of trouble so skip the tape idea and we're going to hold this in place at least it, you have a guideline of how much you have to wrap it and then take these two let's move this out of the way take these two and just twist them up okay we're just going to do a very simple twist up like that and then you might have to keep seeing like how much you have to twist it because the idea is you want to like bring it to here make sure it's pretty centered it's a little off to one side now so you can here you can do a little bit of adjusting to get it the right position so it's centered and then from here what you would want to do is you will need to form a little bit of a loop right so see where this is going to be make sure it goes up at a bit of a right angle okay. and just with these two wires let's hold it here bend it back a little bit and then get our larger round pliers and form the loop so we're going to form this around I'm actually just making this up as I go along so this is sort of reminiscent of my live streams so we're going to hold it like this and then bring these two around one loop and then let's do another one okay okay and then these ones will go to the back so so it's a little bit more centered behind the loop take your flat pliers and then bend it back so it's made like a little bit of a, a bend back. And then now we're going to put it back on the heart. So let's put it back on here. And we'll put it back. And then you'll see you have this centered at the top here. And then we're going to bring it back here. So we want to make sure it's in there nice and tight. Bring this up. It's very slippy. so. It definitely takes a lot of playing around with it because you want this to stay centered here so we're gonna bring this around to the back and then the idea is you're going to have to bring these wires down through here to hold them in place so bring this one down pull it down and then this one too and pull it down okay and this is where you're going to have to tighten it up a little bit so just make sure it's always like staying somewhat centered okay hold this in place and bring that one up here so you can you can either um like this is going to be at the back so it doesn't really matter there's a few options you can do you can like twist it around there you can just bring it straight up to the back which might work well too so let's just bring it let's just bring it straight back up here and wind it around okay we're going to wind that one around once here and then wind this one around i guess it depends also on how much wire you actually have left so we'll bring that one around okay
bring this one around here. So we have those ones in place. This is the back. This is the front. And then now you can play around with what you want to do with this. And then for to make it tighter, like if we want to push this back here, to make it tighter here, you can always like get your pliers and tighten it up. But I think it's pretty good. It looks pretty good. And so now for these ends, you can just decide what you want to do with them. If you want to like maybe add some beads or, or make some spirals or something like that, it's totally up to you. So you can, you can just wind them around to the back and cut them off. Like say we wind that one around and cut it off. You can do that. And if you do want to do a little spiral around, you can always do that too. You can make it fancy however, which way you want. If you want to make a little fancy, fancy stone, you can do that. So we're going to just twist that around. I'm just kind of freeforming it. So there's tons of things you guys can do with this. This is sort of like a basic design. So see, it's, it's held in place. It looks pretty good. And then if you do need to tighten it up, you can always get your flat pliers and you can always do like little, little jogs at the back if you want, you know, if you want to tighten it up a bit, you can. So there you go. You have method number one for wrapping the stone. So the other idea I had for this was to do a kind of a braided technique. So I cut three wires because you'll need a multiple of three for braiding. And then we would start the same way where you would just kind of measure it around to see how much wire you need, like center it, bring this around here, and then bring this one around. It's very slippy, like I said. so you just have to be super careful. So if we have like an idea of where it would start, okay, so if we start it say around here, we'll remove it. And then the idea would be to braid it. So what you would want to do with that is just start by giving it a little twist to start. Actually, I think I'm, rather than twist it, I'm just gonna bend them up because I don't want them too twisted to start with. So I'm going to bend them up. Okay, so we have just the basic kind of beginning stages like that. So the three are up. And, you know, this design is really open-ended. You could, in theory, another thing to do, which would be really pretty, is you can weave these because I know a lot of you guys do wire weaving. So you could even rather than three, you can do maybe two wires and then just weave another wire in there. But I don't do a lot of weaving and I wanted to try this braiding thing. So let's see if this is good work. So let's just hold these together and start by like separating these two because you need uh, groups of uh, like three groups of however many. So this is going to be three groups of two. So we'll put these two to the side and then these ones are going to be your ones that stay together. So let's go ahead. This might be easier if I had another hand, but I don't. So let's see what we can do here. So what we want to do is hold these in place. Okay, if I hold them at the bottom and let's start by bringing this one to the right. This one's going to go over, okay, over. And then this one is going to go over there. So go that one. And then this one is over here. This one's over here. So just a basic braid and try not to get the wires too twisted up. Okay, we're just going to braid them. And this definitely would take some practice to get them nice and tight. But this was sort of the concept that I had. So from here, you could do all kinds of different things. So we're just gonna go up, braid these up. And then when you think you've done enough, we're gonna try it on the 
see I see these are already twisted so pull them back if you need to bring that on top and this one on top it's looking pretty cute and we're going to bring this one again on top and let's see if it's high enough so that's sort of looks kind of cute looks kind of celtic so now we're going to get the stone put the nice part to the front and yeah so here you have this part i actually didn't need it to go that high up i don't think so we're going to hold this here bring this bring this to the the middle bit and then we want the one in the middle to be pushed up to form the loop so if we bring we bring this one up here actually maybe i'll take four strands for the loop so i'm going to bring these two up and i'm going to bring these ones together okay the four that were any four i guess that you want and the same thing we did the before we're going to bend these up at a right angle stick these together so they're nice and beside each other okay so these ones are going to be these are going to form the loop at the top okay so we're going to bring these here and then let's remove it we're going to hold this here and we're going to form a little loop at the top so we're going to bring this here form the loop okay and i think what i'm going to do is actually bring these back down to the back so we're going to form the loop bring these to the back and then we'll secure the loop with the other wires. So do you see how I've done that? We've just made the loop. We bring them, brought them to the back. And then I'll use these wires that I didn't form the loop with and just wind them around. Okay. And that'll tighten up and close the loop. Okay. And then just cut it. And then this one too. I'm going to wind it around just to make it a little bit more secure. Okay. And that also depends on how much wire you've cut and how much you have left to wind around. So we'll go there, pinch it in a little bit. So now we have our braided bit and the loop at the top. So, and then you can also, you know, tighten this up if you have to. This is going to go to the back, these ones here. So let's put our heart back in there. And we'll put it back in. Let's remove these. Okay, so we'll put it back in there. So there's our heart with our braid. Looks really funky, actually. And we'll bring this here to the back. And now we have to secure these wires in here so that um, it'll hold in place. So what we want to do is make sure they're separated a little bit and just tuck them in. Now these are going to be, these look a little long, so let's cut them all the same length so they're easier to work with. And I am going to bring them all back together. I think it's going to be easier. So let's just bring them all back and then tuck them in here okay so that that so they're all tucked in underneath this one at the back okay so we've tucked them all down in there and make sure they're not too like overlapping each other that you could definitely just wiggle them around a little bit this one seems to overlap for some reason, but that's we can do fingernails help for that. Okay, so now we have these bits at the back. Okay, and we're gonna we want to twist them in place, but let's just make sure it's more or less centered. That looks good. Okay, and then these ones, what you'll want to do is just bend them up. Okay, up, 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 and up. Now if these were longer, you could bring them up to the uh, top again, but they're they're not long 
so let's I think you could clip them there but I'm a little worried that they might come out so let's just try to loop it around underneath again so bring this in here loop it underneath again and then that way they're going to be more secure so we'll just grab this either with your flat or your round pliers and bring it around so if you've done a complete loop there it's going to be more secure so it doesn't come out and then you just I could push it down with the sides of my pliers there so that's how it's going to look like that we'll do the same thing you know what you could even do is the outer edges you can do a, a, a full turn around let's do that I think that's going to be easier because as long as you have it a little bit like secured in two places it's going to be good so let's go ahead this is easy to work with this wire it's 22 gauge which is much more forgiving than the 20 gauge so we're just going to pull that around pull it out that snaps so we're just going to bring the flat pliers and bring that around okay so we've done a full turn on either side of the um, of these wires so let's do that we're going to flatten it out and then these two in the middle it's not as important that they've been pulled around a full time so just clip them a little bit beyond where the cross wires are okay and then we'll just push them in okay because those ones they don't have to be as secure so you have these wires here that have been put around twice and then the other wires just once so that's good that looks pretty clean and that's at the back anyways so it doesn't really matter and then there's your little braided uh, kind of celtic looking uh, wrap i love it actually so thanks so much for watching the video give it a big thumbs up if you liked it be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more diy wire art and jewelry making videos hit the notification bell to be notified when i go live and when i post new videos and if you'd like to share photos of your creations, be sure to join the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook. I'll link up the group below. And if you'd like to check out our work, my husband and I specialize in custom wire wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I'll link up my Etsy shop below as well too. And I now have a mailing list. So if you'd like to receive monthly newsletters with tips and tricks for wire art and jewelry making, I'll send you my ebook Wire Art Essentials. So I'll put the link up below to sign up for that as well. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.